What's up, it's Casey from Casey's Customs. In this video, I get some help from DD Speed Shop here on YouTube, and I finally get the LS put in the 57 Chevy. Let's get to work. Great news, we are back on the 57 Chevy LS swap and also modernizing all kinds of stuff, brake, steering, suspension, all kinds of good shit. I finally bought a motor. I've been looking for a motor and a transmission for entirely too long, but I found an LS and a 6L80 two wheel drive transmission. They're both out of a low mile van. Really, really excited. They're getting dropped off right now. Let's take a look at them. I'm going over it. We just got it dropped off. I'm looking at everything. It looks great. You can tell it's lower mileage just because a lot of the shit just doesn't look horrible. He said it was running and driving. I bought it from a buddy of mine, so he had no reason to uh, lie to me. Just got it dropped off. I got everything I need. Flywheel, torque converter, transmission. I found all the bolts I need, luckily. Let's get all this shit put together, and then we'll start figuring out our mounts. I bought a bolt-in LS kit for this 57 but I gotta figure out all my mounts and you guys know how I am with bolt-in shit. It never really bolts in, but I should have all the parts to get the motor in the car today. Let's put some shit together. This took so much longer than it should have. I could not get this big bastard on there for nothing. Just couldn't get it lined up right. Ugh, we're in now. Life's good, baby. Okay. Whew. Now, here's the only bad thing. This needs to be in front of that. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to pick the motor up, put it over here, push the car outside by myself, put the motor in front of it, and then push the car back in. Not gonna be fun, not gonna be easy, but we gotta do it. Oh, also it's uh, like 18 degrees outside. Good times. I am so unbelievably pissed right now. I had to go sit down for like 20 minutes and play on my phone. So let me tell you why. Popped the engine mounts off, getting really excited because I bought a bolt-in kit for the 57. I come over here, these have been on my table and I was like, okay, well, I know these are LS mounts, but I got to looking at the mounts that go on the car and I go, well, that's kind of, that's too narrow. You know, there's a huge gap here. So I start going through all the boxes. I've ripped everything apart to try and figure it out. I go through the boxes. These are the mounts they sent me. And I go, well, that's not an LS mount. That looks like a standard, you know, 350 Chevy mount. It is. They sent me the wrong kit. It's even labeled as LS, but it has that in there. So now I don't know if those are even the correct mounts for the LS that go on the car. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully they just sent me the wrong engine side and the frame mounts are right, but I don't even know. I can't trust that now. So I bought this kit like two months ago. It's just been sitting and I've been waiting. You know, we've had a bunch of engine drama. We changed our engine. I'm like, what the hell? Oh, also come over here. I was like, well, if they did that, I better check the transmission mount. Sure enough, transmission mount is not for a 6L80. The bolt holes aren't lined up. Uh, the good news is I'll still be able to use this. I'm just going to have to drill them out. But the whole point of buying the kit was not, you know, I didn't want to have to drill anything. So what I'm going to do, since I have these other mounts, um, I bought these for a different LS like years ago. I'm going to go ahead and bolt those up there. I'm not going to put these in. Obviously, if I was doing this, I would put these in the car first. I'm not going to put these in because I don't even know if they're going to work. I mean, if I have to, I could put the stock ones back on and then just make my own mounts off this, but I don't really wanna to have to make a bunch of shit when they sell a kit. The last time I ordered the kit, it took two weeks to get here. I don't wanna wait another two weeks. So basically I'm gonna drill that out so I can still use it. And then I'm gonna throw whatever mounts on there and we'll get it in the car. And I can kind of figure out what I'm gonna do, see what I need to do. I can obviously fab up mounts. I've done it a million times before, but it kind of goes against the point when you want just to have bolt in shit. Yeah, so bummed out. I could not believe it. And like I said, I should have double checked. Obviously you should just open up all your parts, look at them really well. But this thing had 20 other parts and I was worried about other shit and I was doing suspension stuff and I got it all at once. So, I mean, I got like a thousand dollars worth of shit for the 
this car all at once. Super bummed, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I also, technically I could bolt these on, still use these, cut the mounts off, weld these to that plate, and then I could still use these, you know, just cut these off. I could do a bunch of shit. Luckily, I'm a fabricator, but I don't want to. So I'm gonna try and get the motor in there. And depending on how much of a pain in the ass that is, I'll see what I'm going to do, but most likely if I have to just use a temporary mount for now and then order the right ones, I'll probably do that. It sucks so much when you have to just come to a complete halt because you have the wrong parts, but I got to do something, so let's cut some shit. <laughs> That's one problem fixed. Check it out. Great news. Reached out of the company. They said it was Speedway, who's usually pretty good about stuff. I said, hey, all I have is this mount. They said, oh, you should have got this plate. So I looked everywhere. I didn't see it. I might have had it, and I just lost it since this kit's been sitting around for so long. But they threw these in a uh, box for me. I got them the next day. Super, super happy about that. I already put the passenger side on. I don't know how well you can see it. But it's kind of cool, actually, how you do it. So I assume they use this because it looks like a small block Chevy. I assume they use this for all their small block Chevys, and then they just have an adapter plate to go to an LS. So this will bolt in here, and then you'll have your four LS bolts. It's kind of genius, actually. Let's get them in real quick. Then, bada bing, bada boom. Get in there, you son of a bitch. It's not going to be easy. I don't love <laughs> the clearance issues it's going to look like I'm going to run into with the floor. The good news is I talked to a guy who does a lot of these, and he said you can do it without cutting the floor, but you will most likely need to modify the transmission mount. Um, he said what he does is he'll cut this top off, add about an inch to it, so it'll sink it down another inch. He said whenever he does that, he never has to cut the floor in them. I'm going to try and put it in there first without cutting that, and then we'll just see what it looks like. And obviously if it needs cut, we'll just pull it back out. But that's a lot easier to modify that than cut my entire floor and new transmission tunnel and all that, especially considering we have a pretty nice interior. I don't really want to do any of that, but let's get these mounts on. By the way, it sounds like I'm out of breath because it's cold as shit in here. <laughs> my little heater's doing okay, but uh, definitely time to uh, upgrade to a bigger diesel setup like I had last year, you know, before I hit it with a sledgehammer. Yeah, let's get to work. <laughs> Whoa, holy shit, that's enough. Damn. Easy, god damn. <laughs> I spilled it on every single one. That's, that's all right. Luckily, one of the Loctite reps sent me a whole bunch. Okay. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put the frame sides on here too. I don't know, I might change my mind on that, but either way, it's time to put her in. Nothing gets the heart rate quite as high as having an engine entirely too much in the air. Easy. Ooh, easy. Come on, bitch. What the 
fuck. I'm getting pissed. There's fucking nothing to hold this thing up right now. I don't understand. <laughs> Am I at the firewall? I mean, I'm still not at the firewall. been a fun day. Look at this. I had all the drawers out. <laughs> Piece of shit. I'm gonna go ahead and take the day off because I'm gonna start punching stuff. Uh, we'll hit this tomorrow. <laughs> One long angry line later. Okay, we got good news, we got bad news. When I left here earlier today, I was not in the best mood. I think I might have punched the door. I don't know. I wasn't very happy. That's <laughs> the goddamn toolbox falling over was just icing on the cake. I gotta holler my boys at Harbor Freight because I mean, I can't be having, you know, 50 year old snap on shit that's falling apart. But that's beside the point. I talked to DD Speed Shop here on YouTube, sent him a message. He's done several of these 55, 57 LS swaps. Told him what was going on. I said, I should have everything I need. He said, check the oil pan, check the steering clearance. I said, well, that's what I'm running into. He said, you probably got the wrong oil pan. Sure enough, I looked it up, a van oil pan. It can work, it's just really, really difficult to. Holly, which lucky enough, I know a guy who works with Holly Performance quite a lot. They make an oil pan for a 57 Chevy that basically goes right in there. You can also modify the steering link because basically that's what everything is hitting. So what I'm gonna do, most likely I'm gonna go with the oil pan route, but because I wanna see it in the car and I'd like to make my mounts still, I'm gonna go ahead and yank the steering. I can't remember what the hell it's called. The, basically the steering shaft, the main one that goes across, I'm gonna yank that out so I can get the motor and transmission where I want it. Then I can go ahead and make my mounts, weld, bolt, everything I need to do. And then what we'll do is we will figure out what the what we're gonna do, whether we're gonna do an oil pan or if we're gonna make a new, you know, steering setup. I don't know. Sounds like the oil pan is probably the easier way, but I did see a forum online where a guy, um, they make like a dropped steering link. They put that in there and that solved their problems. I don't know. The oil pan certainly doesn't cost very much. Holly will probably give it to me. But I said all that to say, we're back in here. I didn't want to end the video on a horrible day and not getting the job done. I want to see this freaking motor in this car before we're done with this video. And that's what we're going to do. Hopefully I'm done tonight and we don't have to go, you know, another three days before we put the video out. But what I'm going to do right now is yank the steering off. So we're going to pop this wheel off, get the link out. And I think I have a, I have one cotter pin and then a Pittman arm and it should, it should just fall out. So let's do that. All right, check it out. All right, shouldn't be anything holding us back now. Okay, we should be good now. Turn the heater off so you don't have to listen to that. Oh yeah, that, oh yeah, that made a difference. <laughs> we still gotta get back. Oh, but we're not still hitting stuff. There's nothing to hit. I got the jack too high. <laughs> Jack like two times. It's not on the jack great. So we're on jack. 
Okay, now I'm gonna squeeze in there, get my mounts in, um, and then put the transmission mount in. And I should be able to take it off the jack and it'll just be sitting in there for now, which is the goal for this video because this is taking way too long. Great news, got the engine mounts in. Now it's time to put in the trans mount. I don't think you can see anything under there, but uh, we'll see. Just know I'm doing it. Oh, this is it, baby. I can feel the end. Check it out, baby. Booyah. Oh, the transmission mount is in. So freaking happy. We should, knock on wood, be able to take it out. Everything is sitting on its own. Let's undo the hoist. All right, baby, moment of truth. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so excited. It is in. This was a pain in the ass. It's been fighting me the whole time. You can't see the mounts, but the mounts are like exactly where they need to be. I just stuck a couple of bolts in them for now. I'll end up welding them, but really, really happy with how that kit worked out, actually. Needed a little bit of modification, but nothing crazy. She's in there, baby. I need to take this off. Now, there's one thing I have to do before we are done with this video, and it's kind of funny. A commenter said, you need to either put the headlight back in or take that headlight out because it looks janky with only one headlight in. He probably said that a month ago. And I said, it's not that big of a deal. You know, I took that out because I was changing something. It's really not that big of a deal. Here's the funny thing. Ever since he said that, every time I see this thing in a video or a picture, I'm like, that looks like shit with only one headlight in. So I don't know if I have the other headlight. So we're either going to put a headlight in that or take that one out. But he was actually 100% right. It just kind of looks funky that it's, it's off. So let's do that. And then we're going to wrap this up. I'll admit when I'm wrong, it does look better. <laughs> Couldn't find another headlight to put the two in. So they're out. Oh, so, so happy she's in. <laughs> I also am looking at this. I'm definitely, well, I'm 90% sure. I'm not going to say definitely. I'm 90% sure we're going to have to change this intake out because the van shit's all funky, but she is in, baby. I don't know where I'm gonna put this just yet, but I just hit 100K. I mean, as I'm working, I'm pissed off, I'm angry. I look at my phone, 100K. So thank you guys so much. I'll end up doing a proper video for it. Also, I'll do it with the 54 Chevy because we are gonna give the 54 away. I said if I got to 100K before the end of 2022, I would give it away, and we are here, baby. So I'll do a video with the 54 probably sometime next week and uh, we'll go over how we're gonna do the giveaway and I'll do another fresh enough video. It hasn't been on camera for a couple months. Thank you very, very much. It is a huge milestone for me and uh, we've been growing really, really fast lately and we're just gonna keep going uh, because of you guys sharing and liking and commenting. We have a really nice community here and uh, I'm super proud to be a part of it. So thank you very much. Sometimes projects fight you. This one definitely fought me for entirely too long, but it's really nice, especially when you've just been fighting something you know i don't know how much footage we'll put up because hitting the motor in and then almost and then pulling it back out i did that way too much i did that basically for a full day so uh <laughs> super frustrating but so happy that it's in it looks great really excited a couple things i was worried about were you know how high it was going to be how low it was going to be where the motor was going to sit it's going to be perfect the hood will go on just right so so, so happy. Really, really in love. This project has been paused for probably two months because we we're waiting for a motor and just waiting for all kinds of shit. Also, you know, I'm building like eight other cars, but it's definitely time to hit this one a little bit harder. We're gonna be doing more frequent videos on this one. 
I said that about the 55 the other day and a lot of people were calling me out on it. They said, you said that before, trust me, we are hitting all these things really hard. The 56 wagon is the one we're gonna really need to get going. It's basically ready to drive around the block. I just gotta finish up a couple little things. So stay tuned for all of that and more. If you are not already subscribed, hit that button. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, comment, all that good stuff they tell you at the end of videos and check out some more of my other videos. Peace, love ya. I've been giving to you Caught up in my feelings